Okay, so today we're gonna have a first little sewing project to get us ready for sewing our stuffed animals. And we're going to create a pin cushion that looks like a cupcake. And so there are some instructions for how to make that, written instructions on a piece of paper in your packet. Um, but I'm going to show you how to make it right here so you can watch this video and follow along and pause it as you need to, to do each step because I know sometimes I might work faster than you. Okay, so what you're gonna need for this project is uh, a plastic cap. It could be any size. I put one in your bag, so that's what it's for. So check the bag that I gave you of materials. You're going to need a pencil. I know that I, um, it says chalk and I sent you a piece of chalk, but it's really difficult to draw around the bottle cap with chalk. So just a regular pencil will will also work. Um, you'll need some embroidery thread. I just have some scrap pieces and of course a good pair of um, scissors. And you can see my scissors say fabric only because I try to only use these for cutting fabric. So if you are going to be cutting fabric, you want to use a pair of scissors that are sharp and that have not been used for paper. Um, paper kind of ruins the sharpness of the scissors and then it doesn't cut fabric very well. So if your parents have a sewing kit, you can ask if they have a pair of sewing scissors you can use. So I have some scrap pieces of felt that I had sitting around my house. Um, and a lot of you have scraps of felt, so you can pick out two pieces. They don't have to be a pattern and a plain one, but they could be any two pieces you want. But just know that if you take a whole sheet, you're going to be using the piece that will probably be the base of your stuffy, okay? So use the scrap pieces and don't take the whole sheets. So I'm thinking I want to have my cupcake top be orange. No, I think I'll have the cupcake top have the flowers. That would look kind of cute. And then the, the base of the cupcake, the wrapper, be orange. So now I've shown you what materials to use. We're going to um, set up and follow the first set of instructions. So if you look at step one, it says to prepare the base. Okay, so it shows you a picture um, where you have to trace around the cap to create that piece. And then you're gonna trace around the side of the cap to create a strip, and then we're going to sew it together. Okay, and we're gonna use a slip stitch. So we're doing this project after we've done our DMV test, so we know what a slip stitch is. So let's get started. So I've decided to use orange for the cupcake wrapper and um, chalk is normally what you'd want to use because you won't see the line, but we can make sure that we, um, whoops, won't show the part um, that has the pencil line. Oh, my pencil keeps hitting the camera. Okay. And it's a little tricky to see, so I'm going to have to try it again. Notice how I'm making little sharp, short marks. Okay, and so I'm trying to get a base piece. So it's faint, but it's enough there that I can see it. Okay, so this is the base piece. And then I'm going to need a piece that will wrap around the bottom. That will be the bottom of my cupcake. So this lid that I chose was from a Gatorade and it's kind of shallow, right? So I could choose a different lid if I wanted to. It can be if you want to make a bigger one, right? Then I have to know what the height is for this. And look, they have the same shape piece. Okay, so what we need is a strip that will go across this way. So I'm going to use my Gatorade lid. Okay, so we're going to cut the strip, the long piece that's going to wrap around the edge of the bottle cap. So we need to make sure that it is wide enough to cut to cover the bottle cap. So it's actually okay to make it a little bit wider. Um, so what I'm going to do is use my piece of paper, my instruction paper, to kind of help me, guide me. So that's a little bit too wide. Okay, so that looks like I'm gonna make it a little wider than I need it. 
Okay, so that's a good size. And I'm not quite sure of the length I need. So rather than measuring it, um, I'm just gonna cut it longer than I think I need it. So good, I can see that line just fine. Okay, so I'm gonna cut this long strip. And hopefully it's longer than what I need, probably is. So this cup, this lid's a little bit wider than a normal lid. Okay, so should be able to get around and then have a little bit extra. So now what I can do is figure out where to cut this so I can make them match up because I'm going to sew them together. So they can be pretty close, but not exactly. Um, they're gonna be sewn together. Okay, so I'll get rid of this little piece. And then this stuff is stretchy, you know, so we just want it to overlap just slightly, okay? So that I have that piece, and then I have this piece, and then what I'm going to do is, first we're gonna sew this piece, and then we're going to add this on top, and then we're gonna sew all the way around the edge and basically make like a little jacket for the cap. Okay, so we're gonna pause and we will start sewing. Okay, so um, you can see on this one that I chose to use a purple thread with the purple base, and so they matched, and I just happened to have um, that color that matched. Um, I don't have any orange thread, so my stitching is really gonna show up. So I can choose a color um, that's close, or maybe one that might complement the other fabric that I plan to use, which had a floral pattern. So, um, Okay, so the floral pattern has some greens. Ooh, so turquoise might look kind of cool. So I think I'll go with turquoise. So that will look nice because it will contrast really well with the orange. And so um, we're going to thread our needle for this. So um, this embroidery thread has eight threads, eight strands. Right, so I have to keep kind of flattening it. It's hard to get it to focus right there. So um, when I go to thread my needle, I want to flatten it and then make sure that the flat edge is facing the same way so it's where it's skinny, I'm going to try to thread my needle through it. Let's see if I can show you there. Okay. So we have a short tail and a long tail, and then we have our knot. So I just looped it right around my finger, hold it on my finger, switch places so it goes under and through the loop, and then pull, and then I just grab the knot, do the same thing, overlap to make a loop, take the tail, tuck your tail under, through the loop, pull slowly, and I've got my double knot. Okay, so I don't want this sewing to show, and I'm only going to be sewing the first um, part here, so it's hard to start on the inside, but I will show you how to do that. So you're going to kind of pinch the lid and the place where the two pieces overlap together, and instead of stitching... Okay, so you cut that strip of plain fabric, and um, instead of trying to sew it right now onto the lid, we're going to just take it apart and sew right through the middle of the end piece. So I went right through on the one end, and then that way the tail, I can trim it so it won't be showing and in the way. Okay, and then I'm going to wrap, grab my lid and wrap it around. And then I've got my needle and thread. 
and I'm going to come through the middle. So I'm starting from the middle both times. It's not going to take a lot of stitches, right? So I can go through and grab it and then go through another side. And then I can just grab it one more time, go through to the end. And that's really, you not you don't need a whole lot to keep this together. I did like a, just a few stitches. So the nice part about this is that we're going to attach the next piece on. So um, my thread is coming out on the open side of the lid um, and the bottom is going to be on the base. So I want to get my thread closer. So I'm going to just sew through and do one more stitch through the bottom. Let's see if I can go right through there so now I'm coming out and I'm near the base piece okay so you can see there's my lid of my bottle and I can decide which way I want it to face so if I see any of those pencil lines I can choose the side that doesn't have pencil right and then you can see that's just gonna sit right there on top and then I'm gonna grab the edge and it doesn't really matter you just want to line it up close to where your thread is so that you're not trying to pull it too far away because we're gonna have little sewing so we're gonna do what they call a slip stitch so we learned that on our lesson sheet right so um, the slip stitch or the stem stitch it was also called goes around and around and around. So basically I just grab it, grab both sides and pull. And so I'm gonna keep doing this all the way around until I get finished. Okay, so I'm getting close to the end of my sewing here, and so I'm just going to do the last few stitches, and um, I'm almost back to where I started. So when you are getting to that stage, um, we're going to not snip off and knot anything yet. So what I'm actually going to do is do my last stitch right here. Oh, got caught a little bit. Okay, and now instead of going um, and cutting it off, I'm going to go back under and hide it so it's going behind the piece of fabric but in between where the um, cap is. And then we're going to put our top, our topper on here. And um, this is just going to wait and so we can sew it on using the exact same thread. So it will all become one piece. So I'm just gonna set this off to the side. <laughs> 